Hello, good morning. How's everybody doing on this beautiful Tuesday morning? Welcome to Chocolat One. My name is Beth Hitchcock and I'm an independent designer with Chocotour. And what an exciting day it is. Look at my shirt here. Let's see if you can just see this. Life is good. Isn't that the truth? This is a Chocotour design and I try not to knock my whole stand over. Life is good. It's launch day for the autumn winter catalog. How exciting is that? Here's the address, my website where you can go to chocotour.com, hashtag um, chocolate one. And uh, let me just check one thing real quick. Yep, just wanted to make sure that we were live and we are. Um, yeah, so you can go to um, Chocotour.com, Chocolat One, hit shop, go to new items, and that's where all of the brand new things are. Over a hundred new transfers, new paste colors, new shimmer paste colors, new ink colors, new surfaces. So go over there, take a look around. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help you out the best I can. And so we're going to do, um, I was saying last week that I have a lot of, I love, what I, one of the things I love about Chocoteur is the versatility of it. We have double-sided um, surfaces that you can chalk on. And so I went around and I'm looking at the different surfaces I have in my house. I said, I can chalk on the other side of that. I can chalk on the other side of that. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, one, maybe two projects today. We'll see how our time goes. So I'll put you down here. And let me show you what my, we're going to do um, Life is Better in the Country, and we're going to use our cute little farm animals. Um, this is what is on the other side. And I love this. I don't want to get rid of this, but it's it will be fun to, and then this one. I had a lot of fun creating these, um, but now what I'm going to do is use the other side. I've lightly sanded both of the back sides just to give it a little bit of a distressed look. And um, whoever, whoever buys this is going to get a great deal because they're going to get four different prints for the same price. So um, what I've chosen to do today is um, I think we're going to do, we're going to start with Life is Better in the Country. And um, if we have time, we'll do the farm animals. So I'm just gonna set this aside. Excuse me for a minute, right over there. And so, I, like I said, I have lightly sanded my surface. I've chosen my paste colors. Um, and I've chosen, we're gonna do a little bit of our country plaid on this, just to give it a little depth and dimension. Oh, I forgot to say. If you're hopping on, please drop a comment, like and follow my page, sprinkle this to other crafty people that might be interested in what we do. And um, um, yeah, give me those hearts and those thumbs up. That'd be awesome. I'll put that away. I'll put that back up later. Share that address. Tell people about our new launch. It is, there are some amazing things out there. We have gnomes this year for Christmas. They are darling. Those new shimmer colors, those paste colors. Um, pumpkin plum, and I don't think it was crimson. Oh, um, a, uh, a jade, I believe it was. A dark green would be beautiful for Christmas and for, um, for fall also. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some wax on our surface. Let me get my wax out here. And that is so my transfer um, doesn't pull up any of the sawdust that I put on there or um, doesn't stretch when I pull it up. So this is just some wood wax gonna put a little bit on here. I like being able to distress these boards. 
Um, so, it, well, I just dressed all of it. It was this darker color everywhere. So I just put some, you know, little worn marks here and there. So I get a little coat of this wax on there. And I do the I do the edges too. I did not distress I did not distress the side of the frame just to keep the integrity of the project for this side. So but you certainly could do that. Lots of ways to dress this up. All right, this should be enough. take a, a microfiber cloth and then just buff that extra wax off that might be laying on top. I'm coming on early today. Bill went to the dentist and I thought oh, the house is nice and quiet. Well, except for the dogs barking at the trains. Um, but I thought, oh, I'll get this done early today. I'm procrastinating. Um, I should be vacuuming, but this looks like so much more fun to do. Okay, that feels pretty good. Okay. So I'll put this down here for now. Now I get a fuzzing cloth. Peel back our transfer. And on these uh, D size transfers, like I've said before, I've used this before. It's really, I don't even know if we, we'll put one layer of fuzz on it. I don't even know if it really needs it. Anyways, I put one cloth down, flip it over and then peel back the rest of the backer sheet. <clears throat> we'll set that over there. And then I like to wash my transfers pretty quickly afterwards, but um, this one needs to go to the sink where I have a spray nozzle. So it'll just hang on the side of the table until I can get there. We'll put a little bit of fuzz. Hey, Barb. Yeah, I know I'm on early. I was just saying, um, Bill went to the dentist, so I'm taking advantage of the quiet house. Not that he's noisy when I'm doing lives, but, um, this is fun. It's fun having the house to yourself sometimes. All right, so now we're going to, let's see here. Do I want to go this way with it or up and down? I don't know. Let's just lay it down here and see which way we want to go. I want it straight, whatever I do. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to press this down in here. And when we're done, I'll be sanding it down anyway. So we'll just have a faint, we just want a faint um, design on this. So we want our we want our sign, our words to pop on it. Just press it into the corners there. So everywhere you see the wood coming through, that's where the paste is going to go and um, where we see the green that's where the vinyl is so the paste will not go through that okay that looks pretty good so I'm chosen one of my favorite colors is dune I'm going to use our small squeegee even though it says it's 
This is the mini squeegee and this is the small squeegee. It's a lot, it, I think it's a big squeegee. So we're gonna pick up some of our paste. I stirred this up pretty good before. This is still the old formula I'm trying to get through. And we're just gonna get our paste on here. And I'm gonna do kind of a messy job with it where I'm not even gonna hit all of it. So like I said, we'll be sanding it off. Just go to the edges a little bit here, not all the way. Got some air bubbles in there. Did you catch the, the um, launch today, Barb? I got on early. Pretty happy with some of the stuff I picked up. I think that looks pretty good for what we're for our purposes. Let's pull it up and see. Got a few lines down here I need to take care of. Okay, pull this up. There, perfect. That's what we want. I'm gonna just, actually what I'm gonna do is I am gonna clean this off. I'm going to Set this aside here. And I'm just gonna take a wet wipe, just get some of that paste out of here. This is not my preferred way of cleaning a transfer, but it works. around there. <laughs> it, it is nice having the house to yourself, yeah. Occasionally, you're right, not all the time. Because when Bill went back to Ohio, it started getting a little bit lonely. There, now I don't have to worry about that paste drying in those little tiny, one of those herringbone lines, which um, relieves me just a little bit. Got a board eraser here just to clean that off a little bit more. Now I'm gonna let this dry on the side over here. Just tack it down. Let me get a paper towel and wipe that off. I don't think I'd advise doing that right on your kitchen table surface, but if you have our um, self-healing mat, that's good to place down if you wanna do a clean, a quick clean like that. All right, let's put this back. Let's give this a quick dry. Where's that little tool at? Here it is.
pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna take a piece of, well, I actually have a sanding block here. So when, when we go, when we lay another transfer on this, now that I have this paste down here, it has a, it has a raised, it's, the surface is raised a little bit. So, and I really just want the hint of a design back there. So we're gonna take this sanding block and sand this down. So it further distresses our project, which is great. And it kind of levels out our surface again for the next transfer to lay down on. That's kind of what we're looking for. Kind of mess it up a little bit. There we go. I think that's good. Now we have kind of a old antique actually scrolling through the new things right now. Fun, Barb. Check out those new paste colors. I was excited. And I think they have a new ink color too if, you, if you're doing any inking. Okay. Just get all that off. Now we're going to put another light layer of wax over this. And that does uh, that will help prevent from pulling up any of this paste because when we go to put paste down on top of it, the wet paste can reactivate the dry paste that's down. So we're going to give it a little protective layer here. I'm excited to have some new um, new stuff in my kitchen. Looking at all the new stuff in the catalog, the beautiful fall designs, it's getting me anxious for fall. I know we, yeah, I'm kind of done with summer. This heat wave has been a little brutal. So I'm ready for cool autumn weather. How about you? Anybody else ready? My favorite season is the fall and autumn. Um, my all-time favorite season. I love all the seasons in Idaho because they're so they're all so different. But uh, fall has always been my favorite season. Okay, I think that looks really good. I like the way it looks. Okay, now where'd we do? Where'd I put that? Here it is. I think we'll go this way with it. I just get it in the country. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go this way with it. Pull that up. This, this really needs to be fuzzed. Oh, Barb, I know you'd love to do magnets, and they have those new little three-inch frames. Check and see if those are still available. I think those are going to sell out fast. I think people were really excited about that. 
be so cute with all the minis to have it in a little little um, box frame like this. Those will be fun for Christmas gifts, I think. Stocking stuffers. This should do it. Okay. All right. Let's get this centered in here. That looks pretty good. going to be so pretty. We're going to use um, our black velvet and then sage for the little greenery down here. Okay. Like I need to stir that up some. This um, this black paste has an, has a different odor to it. Just so you know. I don't know what. Maybe it's the the pigments. Uh, the pigmenting that they're using for it, I don't know, but it has a different odor. Not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's good either. Okay, we're just going to get our paste on. This would be a cute sign for a country Airbnb, I think. Welcoming your guests to the country. lines off of there. Get my fingers off here. And then this is our really pretty light green sage color. Just concentrating, try not to pull any black in there. There we go, we'll scrape that off. All right, that looks good. Let's peel this up and see how we did.
Oh, we got to redo our black up here. Still didn't pull. Oh, darn. I'm pulling it all up. Dog on it. And I see the paste I pulled up with my transfer, even though we waxed it. So let's just pull this up down here. What I'm gonna do is wash this transfer and then um, dry it and lay it back down. And I think I need a darker green down there. So let me wash this. You know, that happens sometimes. Let me work on getting this. I'm going to set this off to the side so I can. Oops. Oh my gosh. I just unrolled my whole thing of paper towels. Let me close these up too. one bring this over here and work on getting this paste off the back here there we go The pigment will stain that um, the green final a little bit, but that doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you get it out of your silk screen. Okay, that looks clean. Now we're going to flip it over onto the microfiber side, lay it down, and then get another fuzzy cloth with the microfiber and really dry it. Well, it's distressed looking, that's for sure. I think we're gonna need a different green though. Maybe the pesto, we'll lay, overlay the pesto on there to give it a little bit darker green because that's a little too light for that background. Now we're going to fuzz it again. So that dried my transfer just between those two microfiber sides. Did we? I think something happened with my black paste once before too. I wonder if I need to just get a new jar of black paste out. That's probably fine. Okay, let's make sure that our sign is dry before we go to try and go over it.
good. Okay, so now we're gonna line this back up and try it again. See if we can get it where we want it. A little tricky lining it back up again, but it, you just go slow, and you can usually get it. Get that S in there, right? This is a good time to try to do the, um, the double effect, you know. That looks pretty good. Really push it down good. Okay. Or maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna give it one more go and see if we can't fix that. Let's get that pesto out. Stir that up. Okay. A couple of squeegees here. Try going different directions with the paste too and see if it doesn't hit different areas for me. Worst comes to worst, I can um, sand it off if I don't like it. I never mind. I never mind doing that. keep our fingers crossed. I was thinking of almost an orange on that after I laid that light green down. I was thinking, oh, it's getting fall. Maybe I can make that into an orange color, but I'll just be happy if I can get the letters to lay down right. Okay. Let's try a little pesto down here. This do. All right, cross your fingers, hold your breath. Better, 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 better. Ah, much better, yay. Uh, what color is the new paste? I can't find it. It is, um, let me grab my catalog bar. You have to go to oops, you have to go to um, new new items I think it is or new new 
It's the first, it's the first button. When you go to your back office and all the new stuff is in there. So, oh, we froze up, doggone it. Hold on, Barb. Let me fix the Wi-Fi here. It bumped me off the Wi-Fi. One second, there we go. Switcher. Let's see if it'll let me join. Yeah. I don't know, it's saying I have an error now. So let's see here. Stop recording and broadcast. Continue recording. Anyways, let me go up here, Barb. So I don't, if you can see this, Barb, I don't know, it's on page seven. But in your back office, it's under the first, um, it's under new orders. And they're just, they're kind of in there intermittently. So you just scroll through them and you'll find it. So it's Shimmer Pumpkin, Shimmer Spruce, Shimmer Plum, Pomegranate, and Jade. So if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, I don't know if we're still live or not. Let me check this really quick. It's, it's behind, so I don't know if it's going to be live or not. Anyways, um, this came out great. I love it. I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi system, so I won't be able to do the other one. We'll do that tomorrow. That'll make it easy. I have something already planned out to do. And um, I have an appointment tomorrow with my little guy, so... I'll be on later, I think, probably for sure. So, continue recording. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to sign off till we chop again. Take care.